Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video and in this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can set different shipping rates for different type of products. For example, I'm selling some jewelry on my website, a mobile phone and a t-shirt and a washing machine. Okay, So for all these type of products, the shipping rates will be completely different. For example, jewelry, t-shirt and mobile, the shipping rate will be very low because of the their size and weight while shipping rate for a washing machine will be very high because it is very big in size also in weight okay so if you are selling these type of multiple products or you can be selling anything and if you want to set different type of shipping rates so just follow this tutorial okay for this you will have to go to the wordpress admin area log into dashboard then go to woocommerce here then go to settings then go to the shipping tab here okay so first i will show you how default it looks so when you add a shipping zone for example i will show you edit okay so i have selected the shipping zone as local city free okay so the shipping is free in goa and here i have selected these options so if i ignore ignore the free shipping for now let's focus on the shipping rate so let's go to the flat rate so here you will see normally you will see only this option okay uh, method title tax status and cost okay so this is by default the shipping rate for all products uh, whatever you are selling on your website this is the default shipping rate okay now if you want to add multiple shipping rate what you have to do is let's close this first go to shipping classes here here click on add shipping class and then in shipping class name put the product category that for which you want to set this class for example i want to set it for clothes then click on save shipping classes or if you want to add multiple then click on again add shipping classes here so here i will select jewelry again add shipping class washing machine okay now after adding all the ship different shipping classes click on save shipping classes you can if you want to add more you can always do that from going here clicking on add shipping class and if you want to remove or edit something you can also do that okay now again let's go back to the shipping zones okay here here you can see now let's again edit the shipping zone or if you want to add a new zone you can also do that okay so i will just edit it okay, now if you go to the flat rate let's click on edit now you will see all this shipping classes we just added so for now i will remove this cost from here and instead put the different shipping rates for each of this category example i will put 50 30 500 and if you want something default shipping rate in case in case there is no shipping class men mentioned then also you can put it here so this will be like the default shipping rate where you have not mentioned the shipping class specifically then click on save changes um yeah before that here uh, you will see calculation type so here you will see this option charge shipping for each shipping class individually or per order basis charge shipping for the most expensive shipping class so uh, it depends on your site and how you want to charge shipping so because i don't want customer to charge uh, shipping for multiple products if they are buying a cloth or t-shirt and also washing machine so i just want them to pay the 500 rupees shipping and because of the total order i don't want to charge them extra 50 just for the t-shirt so i will set it like this and then click on save changes okay so this is how you can do it so similarly you can add different shipping zones and set the rates here now when you go to product here let's go to all product or if you want to add a new product let's see how you can do that 
So if you already have some products on your website, you will have to go and edit them. So I will just show you where is the shipping option located. It's taking some time to load. Uh, let's go to shipping. Okay, here it is. So this is the shipping class option. Just go to here and select the appropriate shipping class that you want, uh, which to which this product belongs. So, okay, so change that here, and then another another thing you should notice when you go to general here. So here you will see this option tax status. So make sure it is taxable. And if you want to charge only a tax on shipping, then you can do that. Or if you don't want to charge tax at all, then uh, select none here. Okay. Another thing you should notice. Let's go back to the WooCommerce settings here. Okay. When you go to the tax tab here. So here, here there's the shipping tax class option. So by default, this is what is selected shipping tax class based on cart items. And this is how I recommend it, but um, depending on your local laws. So if there is a fixed tax rate for shipping, then you can uh, create a different GST uh, tax class and then set the specific rate. So if you want to learn about the different tax rates video, I already created that. I will put its link in the description. So by default, this is selected and this is, I think, will work for most uh, people. So depending on the cart, uh, the same tax rate will be applied to the shipping also. Okay. And so I've shown you all the different shipping class options and their tax related settings too. So let me know how you found this video. Uh, if it was useful or if I missed something, if you have any query, just post in the comments and I will try to help you out. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video.